Hello everyone and welcome to Talk of the Town and our first show of 2021. We have a great show planned to help you beat the winter blues. Or maybe I should say the COVID blues. Yes, you should. Either way, get ready for some fun. This month, we try a virtual cooking class, and our chef is an energetic 10-year-old. Wait till you meet Gray. We head outside for a bit of winter fun to embrace the snow in the Poconos. Plus, we check in on Grammy Booth and see how she's been keeping busy in the new year. Love is in the air as Valentine's Day approaches, so we have some crafts you can do to impress your Valentine without breaking the bank. Let's get started with our first Valentine craft. This one will decorate your table. And Kim, it looks like you brought us hearts. <laughs> That's right. What are we Marie, doing? Do you have any big plans for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, <laughs> haven't thought about it yet. How about you? Mm, you know. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. We're but... boring. <laughs> <laughs> but right. that's okay. You may have big plans. Maybe you're making dinner for Valentine's Day. So oh, let's decorate our house. That's what we're right. We're going to decorate, and this is for the table. Okay. Okay. So we're going to make a table runner. And here's something I never knew until I hit the craft store. You ready? Yeah. And we've been in craft oh, stores yeah, a lot. <laughs> the kind of felt you found. That's right. So I'm used to this kind of wobbly felt which I guess is just normal felt. This is better. This is called stiffened felt. So, so they did something to it so that it's not so floppy. Right, but the only, nice space. the only stiffened felt I could find was the red. Okay, so, so we're gonna. So we're gonna make red the base of our table runner. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of hearts. And you know, felt's like a dollar. Right. So you could spend $20 on a Valentine's table runner or you could make, make a craft. One. Yes, make I learned your own. something too. Wait, what did you your learn? Scissors? My scissors are right oh, here. I thought we lost them. Um, <laughs> I learned <laughs> that you really need sharp scissors to cut felt. Yes, you do. And you can do it a lot of different ways. We, we pre cut some, so you could just take a piece of felt. I'm doing the big way, you're doing the halfway? Yeah, I'm just going to show everyone. You fold it in half and then you make your heart. And that's how I made this, which became our template. Then you can just use your heart to, to be your template and to cut it out properly. Or you can go freehand. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do the template. We'll use your templates. Yes. <clears throat> Might get ourselves in trouble. Yeah, if we don't. Since I've done a few of these now, I'm kind of at the point where I can almost do them freehand, though. Almost. Almost. Seeing the operative word. Almost. So we'll see how it how it goes. All right. Well, that was not too tough. Then we just have to smooth the edges if you have any jaggies there. I have a couple. Yes. Okay. I don't know how long an official table runner is. Me either, but we'll... We had Let's eight see. pieces of stiffened felt. So guess what? Our table runner is going to be eight, eight long. Eight, eight long. How, it, how they line up? <laughs> did we do that well, like overlapping them? How we? Yeah, them to I think be? we did. I think or, it's all good. Well, except is this the bottom? This is the bottom. Okay. So now what we do is we have other felt. We have light pink and dark pink felt, and we're going to make smaller hearts. And then you put them. But that's the bottom. Oh no! Oh no! This can be the top. I'm sorry, I missed well, what you were saying. But then it should be this way, so that you see the... Yeah, you're right. So it should be like this. But we're going to take them apart again. <laughs> okay, so make sure your hearts... The curvy part goes on, on the top. top. Or it doesn't look like a heart, it looks like the a big, long caterpillar. Yeah, that's true. The okay. points go underneath, let's the say it's that go way. underneath. Okay. Points go underneath. So regardless, I know what you're saying. We're going to take these now and decorate them by themselves. Right, so each one should get decorated. Somehow. And you can decorate it any way you want. We have several other pieces of felt. Do we have to stay like symmetrical and nice or can we be like? No, the only thing that you should probably think about is the <laughs> fact that they're overlapping, overlapping each other. So you need to make sure that you have enough space for a little bit of an overlap to be glued down and not mess with and it. And not mess with your design. This pink heart is a little too big, so I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where'd my scissors? You stole them. How'd they get way over there? <laughs> I, I needed two. Apparently. Yeah, apparently you did. 
It's all good. All right. And see. there's no right or wrong here, as you okay. know, as you're starting to see. You can do it. I'm using all the ones you cut already. <laughs> <laughs> How lazy. Yeah, here, here's another one, Maria. I'd hate for you not to have enough. <laughs> all right. You can also I'm make some, more like make this. some that are, you know, the Open. outline. Open. Yes. Here, we'll put this one on here. Okay. I kind of like doubling that puppy up. Yeah. That looks cute. And then I have a big heart from where I cut that one out and made it smaller. So you can really do whatever you want. All right, let's see if I can make that smoother because doing two at once was not, see, was kind of jaggy because. He's cute though. The scissors just are a There's no bit. right or wrong. And truthfully, <clears throat> when this whole project is done, you'll have spent less than $10. So if you get, you know, if you, maybe you're doing chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. And if you get a little chocolate on them, who cares? <laughs> Throw it away. Get gluing. Get gluing. Yes, Zach sir. wants us to he be busy. He wants us to get it going here. Okay. So we can glue all these together. But then I found these cool little things. And you can make these. I wasn't feeling this one though, making them. <laughs> so these were $4 at the craft store and they're little felt hearts. They're cute. And some of them have sayings. Yep. So I thought- so you can stick them- Anywhere you want. Now, if this is the table runner- you, you might want to stick closer to the middle if you have a center or use them as kind of a centerpiece. Yeah. And then we're just gonna give it a little bit of glue here and there just to keep it together. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna do every edge. Just no. kind of let it. And All then right. obviously you have to let it sit. And these are our handy dandy Zach approved glue guns. And here's some red or pink glue for you. Thank you. Holy glue string. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thing's getting glued on. Yay, looks nice. It's cute. <laughs> okay, look. All right, it's yes. really cute. It's adorable, and to put something like this on your table for Valentine's Day, how fun would that be? And you, this is something you can really do with little kids too. It's there's no like you said, there's no making a mistake. It's just so cute. It's adorable that you could uh, you could have the little kids get involved and make your table beautiful. Yes. When Talk of the Town returns, we join our first ever virtual cooking class. Don't miss it. Welcome back to Talk of the Town, everyone. Our table is set and we're ready for a cooking segment. But this is no ordinary cooking segment. We have a very special chef and a very special way we're gonna do this today, right? Exactly. We are going to introduce you to a 10-year-old chef. His name is Gray Schatzman and we're gonna have a virtual cooking lesson. So let's get to it. We're Zooming today. Hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. And Kate and Zach are with us too. Kate and Zach are in their kitchen and Gray's in his kitchen and here we are and we're all gonna cook the same thing. That's right. Gray's gonna be our leader, right Gray? Yes. And Gray's little sister is there as well and that's- Hi. Ada. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well hello to both of you and what are we gonna make? So today we are going to be making hummus and pita chips. Mm. Sounds good. How did you choose this? I really like making hummus and pita chips are a very nice tip that goes with hummus. A very good idea. Yeah, it's a great snack. Okay, what are we gonna do first? So first we are going to make our pita chips. So okay. we're gonna go over our ingredients. So Got we're it. going to need pita, Got salt, it. salt, then olive oil. Okay. And then we like adding smoked paprika. Ooh, got it, got we got it. it too. Okay, so first we are going to take a cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. Bring on the cookie sheet. And put your pita onto the cookie sheet. There's one for you and here's one for me. Okay. And then we're going to take a brush and some olive oil. 
Need a brush. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to want to spread our olive oil all around. Make sure you get the edges. Gray, should we have our oven preheating? Yes. You should have your oven preheating to 350. Okay, I think mine is done there. I got the edges, Gray. All right, good. Kim's making a mess. She's splattering me with <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> I am not. Yes, she did. <laughs> it's a good thing you got your apron on. Yes, true. Okay, we're good. Then you want to take a pinch of salt and just sprinkle it all around. I like extra salt. Is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. I like to do that too. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want it to be bland, right? Yeah. And then you want to put on some smoked paprika. That gives it a little more flavor. Okay, awesome. Ooh, that smells good. It does. Uh-huh. And then you will want to get a pizza cutter or a knife. How about scissors? Yeah, you can use scissors too. Yeah. <laughs> Kitchen then, scissors, then, not the same ones we use to cut, you know, yeah. ribbon or something. <laughs> and then you We're want to you. cut it into four pieces. Oh, Kate's going way heavier on the seasoning. Yeah, because I want it to be flavorful. I'm adding more seasoning. <laughs> All right, then your oven should be preheated. So we'll just slide these in. Okay, into the out. oven it goes. Uh huh. And while we make hummus, we will want to check on them because once they're golden brown and crispy, that's when we know they're ready. Okay. So should we set a timer? Yes. Let's set a timer for four minutes. All right, right. You're in charge of that timer. When it dings, we'll all check. Good idea. <laughs> Now before we move on, Gray, this is not your first cooking class that you've taught. No, it is not. I've actually caught, taught three others. Um, I am mostly teaching my friends and family. Wow. These people that you're teaching, do they know how to cook or do they not know how to cook? Some do, some don't. That's why I'm here to teach. <laughs> <laughs> and who taught you how to cook? My mom. Ah, right. way mom. to go, Mom. <laughs> now, Gray, your cooking class has a special name, right? Yes, it's called Mangia Bene with Gray. My grandfather's Italian, and he says that at every meal, it means eat well. I see you have a snazzy chef coat, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a necessity, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Where did that come from? Kay and Zach gave it to me. <laughs> Ah, oh. so you were ready for the segment. Yay. That's so awesome. <laughs> Way to go. We're happy to support aspiring chefs. <laughs> <laughs> because and you guys are foodies. We know all about it. <laughs> all right, we've waited long enough to start cooking our, um, our hummus, so let's get busy. What do we need to do first? Okay, so if you've drained your chickpeas, that's good. Then you will yes. want to take off the lid in your food processor. Okay. And you want to dump your chickpeas into the food processor. Now, which which um, blade are we using? I've got two. Are we using this one? This one seems like the right one. Yes, that one. That, that one. one. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to put our garlic in. You can use whole cloves, or you can use garlic powder. We're using or whole you can cloves. Use, yep. And you can mm -hmm. just, you can just toss the whole clove in. We so have minced garlic. We have minced garlic in, in a thing like this. So we're just gonna take what would probably be like a clove. Okay. Is that a good okay. idea? Yeah. Okay. Just one? Um, one um you can put two in. I was gonna say that seemed yeah, I'm gonna say I like garlic, so let's That's make it a little so garlic. We, here. We're gonna do two cloves. Yeah. Okay. You do what two cloves, Zach? Yeah, we have kind of a big clove and a smaller clove. Alright, is everybody done doing that? Yes, yes. we are. Okay, so now we're gonna take a lemon. You can use already lemon juice or a whole lemon. And if you have a lemon, you'll wanna put it down and take the palm of your hand and roll it out so that loosens up the juices. Good job. That's a very good tip. I use that tip all the time. Glad you said it. Uh-huh. So then you'll just wanna squeeze your juice into there. Oh, that's I hear four minute time. timer. Uh-oh, uh, that's our timer. All right, while well, you're doing that. I'm uh, doing the lemon. Kim's I'll gonna go check the pita. Ours needs a little bit more time. Mm, ours needs a little bit more time. We too. need a little more time too. Uh-huh. So okay, let's, let's finish, finish putting our lemon in. Do you do the juice from a whole lemon? Um, yes, we do. Okay. 
Okay. We like it very lemony. Sounds like it. We'll follow. We'll follow. <laughs> and that's the good thing about hummus. You can add anything you want. We um, like adding Kalamata olive to make olive hummus is good. You can add Ooh. peppers or anything else. And we're just making regular hummus, garlic, lemon hummus. So now we're going to take our tahini. Okay. Okay. And we're going to put a spoonful of this in. Like a tablespoon spoonful? No, more than that. Like maybe two of these. Okay, all right, two big spoonfuls, we'll say. Yep, two big spoonfuls. Okay, now we're going to put some salt in. How much salt do we need? Um, two tiny spoonfuls like this. I don't really use measuring cups because that's the fun of it. You don't have to because then you can taste it and add anything else you need. So now we're going to put our lid back on. Okay, lid back on. And start to blend and then we're going to stream in our olive oil while it's blending. Stream in? How much olive oil should we be measuring? Like. This much, that's about <laughs> a cup. So now let's just stream in our olive oil. Blend it up so you can barely see the whole chickpea anymore. Then you wanna take your lid off and scrape down the sides. Does anybody have questions? When do we get to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait back. Yeah. We have to make ours smoother now, is that okay? We're not gonna miss anything, are we? No. No, no. all right. Okay. Now you wanna have a cracker or pretzel close to taste it. And see what it needs. And you should probably check your pita chips. Oh, Marie, you check those pita chips. While I look at this. Oh, it's definitely smoother now for are sure. Yeah, these are ours. Are they, are they good? Brown? Oh yeah, those are look very good. Good. This is our hummus. Oh yeah, see mine on the spatula. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks right. very good. Yeah, come on, Kate. I want to see oh, your hummus. All right. Here's our hummus. Oh, that looks yummy ah, too. Yeah. Okay, so my mom's friend is a Lebanese chef, and she taught us this trick. It's the secret ingredient. So you wanna get a couple of ice cubes and put them in and blend it into your hummus because it makes it even creamier and a very good texture. Two ice cubes good? Yeah, that's good. Here we go. Did everybody give it a taste? Well, you know what? I still have a little bit of an ice cube floating around in there, so I guess we're not done yet. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> you just leave it that way? Leave it that way or keep blending? Um, You can keep blending a little more. Don't blend too long, though. Yeah, but you're eating without us, and that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can taste it. You should taste it. But All right, you, wait. You just... gotta wait for us. <laughs> yeah, wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> You know what? This is I, really creamy, Gray. Yeah, it's really creamy. I've never made my own hummus before. I I'm, have not either. I'm really loving this. Can I tell you something? Uh huh. I don't usually like hummus because I don't like the texture of it, but this is so creamy, I love it. Uh huh, and that's the thing about homemade hummus. You can make your own texture. Is right. it time to dig in? Yes. Yes, it is. Mmm. So good. Ours are very good. You can taste the salt and the smoked paprika. Yes. You know what though? Gray, how do you know if somebody didn't do a good job if they don't eat their stuff? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, we did a great job because we're gonna sit here and eat this. You were a really good teacher because this is delicious. You are thank probably you. one of the best 10 year old chefs I think that exists. Mm. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Greg. Uh -huh. Thank, thank you, Greg. I had fun, I hope you did too. Manja bene! Manja bene! Manja bene!
The pandemic has been hard on everyone, and it's been especially tough on students. School just isn't the same, so one recent Stroudsburg High School graduate decided to put college on hold and do something a little different. And it all started with an old yellow school bus. And of course, because we just loved this idea, we had to meet him. I've had this idea ever since freshman year, actually. I saw it on YouTube, and then it just sparked an idea in my mind. And ever since, I wanted to do it, I just never had the chance. I love it. It's exciting, and the first time I heard of the idea, I was all thumbs up, and, and you go for it. It's a great idea. I mean, what better time to do it than now? Last spring, Adam was trying to finish his senior year in high school and preparing to enter college. And then in March, Tom Wolf made the announcement that two weeks of closing, and then ever since it was just no school, no school, no school. Stroudsburg finally graduated in early July. Adam Rochaboon Deemer. With a very unique socially distanced ceremony. And then the decision was made. I was committed to Penn State before quarantine happened. But then when Penn State went online, I was like, this is awesome. And then I was like, I'm gonna buy a bus. This is Forrest. He's already sporting a new paint job, paying homage to the Pocono Mountains. But there is a lot more to do to turn him into a home on wheels to take Adam for the road trip of a lifetime. So when you saw the yellow school bus arrive, did you go, oh my God. I did. And I looked at it and I said, there's going to be a ton of work to get this thing looking the way he wants it. But he's been methodical. You know, he's done a lot of research. He's had some help from people in the community, um, but he's very motivated and he has great follow through. When I bought the bus, I had no idea how to do anything. I kind of would just spit the bullet and said I would learn as I go. <laughs> wow. Wow. So welcome to the bus. You're going to walk in and this is my couch. It'll be a sofa couch that'll fold out and then the cushions will transform into a two-person bed. It's kind of small, but... And then here I'm going to have my kitchen table or desk, which it's going to be a slideable table that's going to be hinged and you can fold it. So that'll turn into a table for probably eight people to eat. So far, I put a new subfloor in, I put a ceiling in, I framed it out, I put solar panels on with the whole solar system, and I put plumbing in. And then if you keep coming, uh, I'm going to have a wood stove here for heat. It'll be a small wood stove on top of my toaster oven with firewood storage. And then on this side is my kitchen or kitchenette. It's going to have a small bar sink with all underside cabinetry and a two burner propane stove. One of the hardest things we did in the beginning when we were like gutting it was like taking out the ceiling because there was like, there was so many um, rivets and everything that we had to take out. And this is my vanity with a small sink and a mirror. And then my bed starts here. The dresser is going to be underneath my bed and the bed's going to sit on top with a side bookshelf and probably a back storage area. So you, you painted it? Did you do that all here? Yeah. One of my coworkers actually lent me his paint guns. Nice. I bought the paint. That took a while. It took me about a week to tape the bus, another week to sand the bus, wash the bus, and then paint it. Yeah. It was in the garage nonstop for like a month. Today we're gonna start in the desk living room area with my vinyl hardwood floor. We wanna help you so that we earn a trip. Okay. <laughs> We're both going to learn because I've never done it. So. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll help you if you help us. Okay. I'm sure you're going to be helping us more. Might have to look at YouTube a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start in the corner. Yeah, probably the front's a good place to start because then if it doesn't work out in the back, that's where the mistake is. Yep. <laughs> so you have the problem of is everything square? And oh, apparently no, it's nothing not. Nothing is square. Nothing is square. So then the next piece is going to be half of this piece so that the seams yes. are alternating. Yes. Right. Okay. okay. So we're going to make the next piece, I'd say 25 inches, like that. Now you got your real line. Yeah. And then you cut it and then you crack it. Let's see. Well, you I've do never the, done it. Uh, well, you're going to do the first one. He's never done it. Okay. Gonna, 
Watch your fingers. Yeah. Is that enough? We'll find out. <laughs> Are you going to try to crack it? Yeah. Oh, oh. That was, okay, well, I wasn't confident you went far enough, but you did. I like it already. Yeah. You use this to tap it in. Yeah, it's going to say a piece of rubber or something, yeah. right? There, there we go. go. Now I've got that in there. Yep. Okay. Pick it up on that end and then stick it in there. And now push it down. Perfect. So then this one goes right next to that, right? Right in front? Yes. I have an idea, though. Well, no, I guess it's not going to work. That good? Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's, no. it's lifting because this when we cut, cut these, when we cut these, we should like that. That end right there has one on, right? Yeah. yeah so you should so flip you, we them should around. save it and use it somewhere else. Like so let's, let's use get... the other one. Use the other half piece. Yep. Look at we're learning already, guys. First, I want to go on a small trip for like a weekend, which would be down to Maryland or something. And then once I figure that out and make sure everything works, probably like two to three weeks later, I'd leave for either, I don't know if I'm gonna do a loop down Southern United States first, or if I wanna to go to New England and Canada, and then to Colorado, to see my family and my grandma who lives in Colorado. This is, how many people does it take to get the groove in line? Three amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> three amateurs. Okay. Well, there we go, there we go. Did it yeah. go? It's going, I think, I think another one or two, right? What, one or two hits? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. One or two hits? Yep. yep. There. Oh, one more. One more. There yeah, you, go. you got it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We're learning. All right, then. It actually looks good, though. One, one more. Good. Perfect. Good? Yep. We're like uh, destroying the tapper. Are we really? <laughs> <laughs> this was a $20 tapper. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's beautiful. Awesome. It looks better than I thought it would. Yeah, yeah it's really great. nice. So now we need to measure those two pieces. It needs to be eight and five eighths. Eight and five eighths. Yep. I have the pencil. Who wants to cut this one? Me. Okay. It's harder than it looks. You should leave the square on it so that she can just go right next to it. Yeah, drag along yeah, the square. Yeah, drag along the square carefully. Yep. And slowly. And keep my you fingers have to push really hard. out of the way. <laughs> Can I do this way? Yes. She's left handed. <laughs> oh. All right. And then we had to. How did you do that? Like I this? I just pushed it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much like that. Just like, like that. that? <laughs> yep. In the long run, I'll use this instead of renting for internships and summers. So I'll save money. I want to live in it sophomore year to senior year instead of living in a dorm so I'd save a lot of money every year so it'll pay for itself plus it's cool it looks good right mom yeah I like it it's pretty I won't even have to take it out <laughs> yeah we've done, we've done it right so far so far we haven't messed anything up I feel like it I need something firmer underneath it <laughs> well, the first time you do it you're like is it gonna break I don't know you're like oh <laughs> I'm like so worried and it's I just like I know it breaks easier than you think. Wow. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Don't do that. What'd you do? Clench your finger? That was my thumb. Being able to tackle the unexpected, think out of the box, utilize different tools. He's had to learn you know, how to run electric and how to run plumbing lines, um, how to communicate with others, ask for help. So all these things I feel like, you know, he's, he's definitely um, grown in this whole process and thrived. It's been great to watch this come to fruition and all the work that he's put into it. And you've gotten a front row seat because you let him use your, your spot here, right? Absolutely, so it's funny, he'll go to work, he'll work all day long, Goes home, gets something to eat, gets cleaned up, comes back, and he's here working at night. So it's uh, it's been pretty impressive. I've I've asked if he'll you know teach me to drive the bus and let me go on my own when he's in school. And he's like, no way, mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. I'm like, come on. You have to build your own, mom. All right, so we've got a good start to your flooring. Does this qualify us to be able to go on a trip? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Where are we going? Where do you want to go? I don't know. We'll have to think about it. 
But you have to promise us that when you do get on the road, and we're not along with you right at the start, I'm assuming, that you let us know where you are and okay. we can update everybody in, on I your will. adventures. Yeah, send us little video clips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This was fun. We learned something today right along with you. Yeah, so did I. So there's a lot more to do, though. Oh my gosh, yes. Right. You're going to do great. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. We will be sure to catch up with Adam again when the bus is complete and he's ready to take off on his first big adventure. Well, as we begin 2021, we're still going through some really challenging times and trying to make this work, right? We really are. And there's somebody that we haven't gotten to see in person who we miss a lot. That's right. It's Grammy Booth, and I think we should check in on her. I think we should Zoom. That's right. Let's Zoom right into Grammy Booth. Hi, Grammy Booth. Hi, Grammy Booth. Hi, How Kayla. are you? We miss you. Hi. Oh, and I miss you girls, too. <laughs> this is nice I'm having sure you here. I'm sure you've been busy. What have you been doing? Well, it all, I started getting used to being home around Halloween. So mm -hmm. then I started making these. <laughs> I never finish anything. No, of course not. There's always a I started project, making Sam. these things. Aww. Here's the last one. It's <laughs> I didn't get it any further than that. But they're uh, really cute. What are they made out of? A paper mache. And there's okay, a soda yes. bottle soda bottle inside. And some stones uh -huh. to give it a little bit of weight. <laughs> Graham, you are never bored, are you? No, no. No reason to be bored in life ever, right? Ever. Right. Every once in a while, I'm a little unhappy, but I soon get over that. <laughs> and, Us too. Hey, why? Sam, how, how is your puppy? How's Violet doing? She uh, she's just great. She was here, but she got down. And uh, I'm well, sure she'll come Zach, back and Zach's visit. Gonna go Zach's, Zach's gonna, gonna go get her. Zach's gonna go get her. There okay. she is. There oh, she is. Hi, Violet. She is a puffball. <laughs> She's taking your spotlight, Graham. She's right in front of you. <laughs> Aw. Aw, what a cutie. So what other projects, do you have other things on the horizon that you're planning to keep yourself busy with? Oh, I have been, well, I try not to do housework because that'll keep you busy. But yeah. Smart woman. <laughs> more projects. But I've been working on cactus plants the whole time, you know, through it all. And I just got this one. Oh, cool. Uh, wow. I have to, uh, I That's have to pretty pot, unique. I have to pot that. Yeah. It's unique yeah. looking, very unique. Oh, I like that cactus. Isn't that a nice, nice one? It's, oh, it's growing a, like it crazy. Like a palm tree cactus. Yeah, it does. It's a very nice and cactus. Look at Violet's enjoying the spotlight now. <laughs> Violet is enjoying the spotlight. <laughs> have you made any yummy cookies? <laughs> no, I was a complete failure on the cookies. No, no. I uh, just on the cookie front, no cookies. As soon as we can get back together with you, boy, are we going to have some fun. We're going to bake all day long. We'll make all kinds of stuff. Oh, that sounds good. That's, and I even have some nifty molds, too. And, oh, uh, awesome. We'll have to try something with those. That could be for Easter, even the molds. Yeah, well, let's hope we can get back together in time for Easter. Yes. Have you yes. been staying safe? Everyone good? Oh, just fine. And I wanted good. to show you that I made my own Christmas cards. Oh, and did you? I'll show you. Oh, wow. See that? It's, wow. And that, That's your, wait, what's her name? And that is the Spring House Quartet, these mice. The Spring House Quartet. But didn't you name one of those little Oh, mice that, mice? that's a, uh, oh, she's a rat. <laughs> she's a rat, right? Right. These are mice the and rat. Porsche's is a rat. <laughs> they, yes. they live in the Spring House. She lives up in the big house. Oh, but this is, this is what my Christmas card is like. But see, it's only three mice on there because I couldn't get the piano player on. So I had to put him on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? A lot of people may not realize that you are such a fabulous artist. And it's one of the oh, many reasons. Oh, thank you. Aside thank from you. just the fact that you're a terrific person. 
but your artwork is always wonderful. Well, thank you. Well, I have one piece of artwork. It's it's crafted. Maybe Zach will show it to you. Oh, oh wow, that's beautiful. Isn't he wow, great? A little rocking horse. I yeah, love and, that. and he he's great for a. a New Year's. He, he, just a bottle and a glass will fit right on his back nicely. <laughs> <laughs> course, as you, as you see, he has a mask too. He, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's got a mask too. Of see there, he, he's a good, uh, he's a good horse. Go. There you go. <laughs> so have, you been, have you been sending any of these crafts down to the hardware store to sell? No, I haven't. I've been way behind in everything. I'll probably put some birdhouses for spring. You got to start that, getting the birdhouses. Yeah. That's yes, going to be your next thing. That's yeah. all I'll do. I've been thinking of making some, uh, uh, you know, just cutting the birdhouses out and then I put them in a brown paper bag and do it yourself birdhouses. Oh, that's a good idea. And, uh, well, you put, know, people I, are. People are a little bit bored right now because they're all like, you know, doing things at home. So that's yeah, a great yeah. idea. Yeah, and then they can, uh, I put a bag of nails and uh, a few band-aids in there for those people <laughs> who are going to wipe their eyes. Don't own. forget the band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't use any band-aids no, when we made them. Do you remember? Yes. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> well, my God. Maybe Zach, maybe Zach can give you a link to the with segment when we put the birdhouses together mm -hmm. and then anyone that buys one can watch, can watch that. it. So oh, okay. Can okay. okay. Let, let me, know, we didn't use any band-aids, but I think we bent some nails oh, and I nails. know we broke drill bits. Is that what it is? You just broke the bit. Snap the drill bit. Thanks. <gasps> <laughs> We well, have fun. That's really all that matters. And the birdhouses, you know, they went together. Mm -hmm. Mine are uh -huh, hanging outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, mine too. Well, I have to be a little more careful with those, you know, that I'm putting into a bag for people to put together. I even put a show them where to put the nails. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give them a head start. So I don't know if I have anything else I want to show you, but... Uh, I, well, I, that's okay. So thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Oh, I'd like to spend more time. And I, I now I have uh, washed these wine glasses and a little bit of wine and I have some espresso. I'm going to have to ta eat it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, do we give people, you best. how do we give people hugs on Zoom, Graham? Yeah, virtual we're going to give you hugs on Zoom. Virtual hug. Can we give you hugs on Zoom? Well, what is how this? How about we just blow kisses? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Graham. I hope I, I hope I didn't make I hope I didn't make it sticky. There. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, girls. Bye. Bye, Graham. Bye. 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 Welcome back to Talk of the Town, everyone. Time for a few more Valentine crafts. Grab those old lipsticks, the brighter the better, because we're going to send a Valentine message. All right, that sounds fun. But first, this time of year, all our feathered friends are busy looking for food. So we have a Valentine treat you can share with them. So let's get started. All right, Ooh, fun. Okay, hearts. Hearts, because it's, you know. Valentine's. Yes. So we've got four cups of bird, bird seed. seed. Now, when we saw this on Pinterest, they showed only the pretty little tiny, you know, like I'm yellowy. Sorry. The birds like the sunflower seeds the best. Right. I don't even buy the other kind. I only buy sunflower. Yes. Yeah, so this is a mixture. So we need okay. four cups. Put it in here. One. Wait, were we supposed to spray that? No. Okay. Two. Just checking. <laughs> Three. Four. Okay, we need four cups Good. of bird seed, three quarters of a cup of flour. All right. So we're kind of making like a suet sort of mixture. Delicious. Delicioso. Okay. It's supposed to be three tablespoons of corn syrup. I'm gonna eyeball that. Eyeball it well, up. Let's wait till it gets down there first. All right. I'll say that's one. That's probably two. And that's probably three. And I don't think measurement's really too critical in for all the of birds. This. No. Okay. Now we have a half a cup of water, and we're gonna add the gelatin, Knox gelatin, Good old Knox clean gelatin. 
Sprinkle it on top and let it soften, right? Yep. The funny part is I went to the store looking for Knox gelatin and the section was all sold out. I was surprised but I had by it that. In yeah. my lazy Susan. Well, it didn't seem like a lot for all this. I guess we just have to keep stirring till it till the moisture, yeah. The moisture's gonna spread. What we found on Pinterest was that you take a heart-shaped cookie cutter. I've got some of those. This mm -hmm. is an this is an old one and it's really thick, so I thought this would be good. That's a nice one. Yeah. And you fill that in here and press it out on parchment paper. But first, because that's gonna be sticky, You're gonna they spray. say to spray it. Marie had another cool idea. I have my silicone mold, which is also hearts, but we're gonna wanna spray that too. And you smush it down. Smush it down. They could really be any size, right? Because I don't yeah. have to fill these all the way up. No, you do not, because they're pretty big. And then, oh, let's check this out. Okay, I was worried how it would come out, but look at this, I can just slide it right out. Now, do we Look need at that nice little that's heart? That's really cute. But I know that I brought ribbon that you asked me to get from my basement, so I know that we need that for something, and I'm not sure when we put that in or if this is going to start to harden. So this has to set up for a while. They say to let it set up overnight. But if we put the ribbon in now before it goes, wouldn't it? Yes, it would probably work like out thinking. just fine then too. What it showed was poking a hole right through it, and then you hang it. It's not quite ready for that, but there it is anyway. And for yours, because they're so fat, you could probably stick the string right in the middle That's of it. That's what I was thinking, I could do it right like this before I get far. All right, these actually look adorable. They're gonna be they're, really cute. Yeah, we're gonna hang them in the trees and all our bird friends will be so happy. Ooh. This one is actually out of the mold and you can kind of see it's a little heart. And mine are going to be popped out in a day or so and I can't wait to see the birds enjoying them and you get to watch the birds. Chickadees for sure, I'm sure we're gonna see chickadees. Yes, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see some really beautiful cardinals. Yes. All right, well, we're gonna clean this out of the way. Ta-da! <laughs> The table is all clean. Yeah, thanks, Zach. And we are armed with Ooh. lipsticks. Some okay. beautiful colors, This by is the way. one of my favorites. I was like, put a little on now. Bright okay. red, that's bright red. No, so it's like pink. Pinky red, yeah, I guess so. Hot pinky, this one's red. Yes, what are we doing red. with these? Okay, so we're gonna have some fun with these. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make a little message for your Valentine. You can do it two ways. When we saw it on Pinterest, they showed you make a little heart using an assortment of lipsticks and then you frame it. Oh, well, we cannot do this without kissing the paper. Well, we can kiss okay, the paper I'm too. I'm definitely kissing the paper. In addition to doing that, I think you're gonna do the picture frame version. I'll put it on a picture frame, yeah. And I'm see. gonna make a Valentine's card. Okay. Instead of, instead of spending, do you know how much cards cost these days? Ridiculous. I, I found this really cool card. I didn't look at the back of it, took it up to the register and they were like <laughs> 902. <laughs> and only for one card, $9. Ah! So right. anyway. So we got some good colors here. Yes, uh, so I'm gonna fold mine in half long ways and that's going to be my Valentine's card. There's a lot of pressure like to, to make the heart. It's because the paper is so white and the I lipsticks know. are so And colorful. some of these are good lipsticks. I don't wanna ruin them. You know, well, you could use old lightly. lipsticks, but yeah. So what it was in the picture too, if you can follow this, is that it was just stripes of the color and you do it so that it turns into a heart. And we wanted to try and do this ahead of time and see if we were on the right track. But do we do that ever? Do we do it ever? And Zach was like, oh no. Don't practice, just wanted, do it. He wanted us to just right. do it. And I have, um, we have all these lipsticks and I actually oh, have- Good idea. Um, eye, right. or I'll borrow lip liners in case, your... well no, in case well, you want to write something like love you or yeah. something like that also. It's endless what you can do. It is do, endless. Right? All right, so I'm going to I'm so nervous, I don't want to wreck it. Just go for it. So I'm going to just uh, start with... Oh wow, this is really smushy. Oh, you're actually, okay. Well, I was thinking I could write with, draw with it, but we'll salvage it, don't worry. Now I'm wishing I had a lip brush. 
<laughs> I'm sure and you I'm do wishing somewhere. That my bracelet doesn't end up in the lipstick. Looking. See, and because we like the lipsticks, I feel oh, like I know. we're look, going to. Look what to... I did to your lip liner. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? I brought a sharpener, too. Okay. Which is a good thing, because boy, I, did I, you. I, <laughs> NARS will never be the same. I what thought was it was going to be harder. Anyway? Um, I don't know. This, the color of this was like rouge again. So whatever that means. I'll sharpen it up, though, because I think I want to use it as well. Okay. Whoa, some of this is smeary lipstick. Smeary lipstick it is. I don't know if I'm salvaging that one. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I gotta go buy some new lipstick. New year, new lipstick. We'll survive, right? Some of my colors I like better on lips than I like on here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Are you putting the kiss on? I did. Did I get lipstick on my nose? No, your nose is still good. Imagine that. Doing this without a mirror yeah, right. is a challenge. I'm going to do a red how to make How to make a cute lip. I don't know. There's probably an answer on the internet, but we didn't look that up first. Either, right. All right. Hmm. Darker. All right, I will. I just wanted to, I didn't want to screw it up real bad. All right. Moment of truth. Did I smear it or is it okay? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, <laughs> smushed a little bit right there, but that's okay. It's kind of has a little bit of character. You know what? <laughs> I would I would say it's this just kind of an interesting thing, but um, the right person would want to have that. So you might want to have <laughs> you might want to have your kids do it. Cuz then whoever it goes to, they won't be they won't be offended. Be like, "Wow, you spent a lot on that gift." <laughs> but you know what? It's like, kind of cool looking. It yeah. is kind of. You know what? And it's homemade. It's homemade. And it's fun, so it's fun. all good. All right, next up on Talk of the Town, we hit the snow outside. and make tracks across the Poconos. Right. Stay with us. Let's go outside. Outside is the place to be. Yes, it is. And we love this historic treasure in the Poconos, Sky Top Lodge. So we've pulled out our vintage snowsuits for the occasion. <laughs> I love my snowsuit. We've worn these for years and I hear they're making a comeback. Well, I don't care if they are or not. <laughs> I like mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're wearing them. So come along. We're having an adventure. So we were built in 1928. Uh, we started out as a members only club and it slowly progressed through the years just to a full blown resort. Um, the lodge was built as that main huge lodge, which was unheard of back in that time. It was mainly resorts with 15, 20 rooms and they made it this grand building. And we've slowly added on and did some cottages and the inn was built and just renovated this past summer. Uh, and then we've built the adventure center with our treetop course and our skiing um, probably in the last 10 years for the treetop. And then skiing came not too long after the lodge. Our adventure at Sky Top begins with some skiing. We used to ski all the time, all the didn't time. we? Yes. But it's been a while for me. <laughs> so maybe a lesson is a good thing. Probably. Hi, ladies. Are we ready for our lesson? Yes, we, we are. Think Let's so. do it. All right. I noticed that you didn't give Marie poles, and that's because it's okay. I don't like them anyway. It's just easier, less less problematic? We typically don't do poles with our lessons because they create a dependency. And what we're really trying to create here is a nice fluid, good form skiing <laughs> to start. She threw my pole! <laughs> you know what, poles are good when you're going uphill, like to get my poles back. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get started here, we typically start with Going and stopping, all right? Okay. Stopping's important. Yes. <laughs> stopping is very important. More important, important than going. And what we typically call this is pizza and french fry, okay? French fry. Two of my favorite foods. Yes, right? So we'll start out in french fry to go and pizza to stop. All right. French fry to go and pizza to stop. So we're a, a very beginner friendly hill here. Uh, we, we do one on one private lessons and then we have family lessons. So that's two to six people working just with your family. It's a very personal experience here at Skytop. 
And what if somebody has the french fry but doesn't get the pizza? <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, me too. They end up in the fence. Yeah. Well, that's, down that's the that's hill. I'll slow them down. Yeah. So after we get the pizza and the, the french fries down pat, we'll kind of start on turning mechanics. So how we'll start and then kind of forming just to see. So the one-on-one -on -one in the family lessons really make it a more comfortable experience for our guests. You know, we really give that one-on-one -on -one teaching to them and work with their abilities to get them better at the sport. Make tracks, Murray, make tracks. I'll try. This is not my fast, my best way to go. Oh, that's because she's a lefty. So far, so good. Go your bad way, then your good way. My bad way, then my good way. My good way. Was that an S? Woo. Had to get speed going here to turn. S right into hit high five. <laughs> we haven't fallen yet, so that's a good thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help me, please! <laughs> that was the workout. Now it's time to relax. Yeah, so uh, how about we go too big? We can let the hill do the work. Great idea. What we really want here at Skytop is to be out in nature. Um, our slogan is, it's in our nature, so we want everyone outside, off their cell phones, off their tablets, having that good family-friendly time and that bonding together. Frontwards, backwards. Forward, whichever way you desire. I forgot what I was saying then. <laughs> right, you ready? Yes! Bye! Zach, she's gonna spin me. Yep. Wow! Woo! So it's not a crazy hill. People get a little nervous that it's going to be super fast, but it's really a nice, fun time. Uh, you can come when you're four and up um, with your parents. We have single and double tubes, um, so it's really a great time to get everyone together. Here we go! Woo! All right, I think we're in a tornado, Zach. <laughs> oh boy, we're going fast. <laughs> we are moving. <laughs> Woo! Nice ending. Yeesh! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your style and this thing they call the tornado. Um, so we like to switch it up a little bit. We like to have some fun. Sometimes we'll just get a good old regular push. Other times we'll give you a little push and push and you'll start spinning rapidly until you get to the bottom. All right, that's called the tornado and that's what we want. You want the tornado. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now it's your turn to get out in nature. And whatever you do, be the talk of the town. Steak and chocolate, chocolate covered strawberries? strawberries? Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving? I mean, Thanksgiving! <laughs> <laughs>